Okie dokie. So this is the non GTA uh, private server type of thing where you play as a police officer. I'll keep my engine running. I'm going on duty. Actually, I haven't played this in a few weeks. Um, I'll disable callouts right now until I go get gas. Put my seatbelt on. So basically in this version, you're playing as a police officer and you get police callouts and a dead uh, security guard in the middle of the road. Well, he's just a security guard and they're expendable, so I'm leaving him alone. So for this server, there are little callouts that pop up. I don't know why it's snowing. I mean, it's clearly snowing in other parts of the country right now. But since I am LSPD, I will go out to the city. But in this in this server, you get callouts. You get uh, license plate bolos. And you get 911 calls. Or you can turn all that stuff off and just run traffic. Ooh, which I didn't set up yet. Oh, don't need that, don't need that. There we go. Toggle display. My plate reader. Helps if I turn it on. There we go. Alright, so I have my plate reader, which reads cars in front and in back of me. And I have my radar, which reads speeds in front of me. Deer. Oh, yeah, that's nice. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. And I'll wash my vehicle too. I'll get more snow on it in the next few minutes. Disable callouts. Wow, I'm actually forgetting buttons because I haven't played it in a few weeks. There we go. Backup menu. So if I call backup, it'll go out to all the other players on the map. Or I can just talk to the NPC dispatch. Run a plate check on this vehicle just for fun. No flags, insurance, and registration are valid, so uh, they're fine. I mean, the lighting in this on this server is nice. I just, without the snow, I cannot see a single thing in the road. So these guys have two different servers. I'm usually on server two, but for some reason it's not working properly. Um, I don't know why, but I'm not able to get on to server two. There's no real difference between one and two. A few minor things here and there. I believe the upgraded Sandy Shores police station would be one of them. Alright, I got gas. Now I will enable callouts. Not my attack. Sure. I hate getting those. But. And they're actually very hard to get to. So I'm actually going to do something you really shouldn't be doing. Yeah, that's why you really shouldn't be doing it. <sighs> well, 
Well, this is entertaining. <laughs> All right, let me climb out of here. I'm definitely gonna cheat. I never do this kind of stuff. So we will spawn. No, we have saved vehicles. Emergency, please, Tahoe. And now I'm out of gas again. I'm not paying attention here. Gotta do all this kind of stuff. Alright. Now the thing I hate about my mountain lion attacks is there's only one way to end it and I don't like it because you have to eliminate the suspect. And the suspect is a mountain lion. Yep, drove right past it. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Alright. Now, since everybody's going to be freaking out, I need to... Radius 10, and I will place a speed zone. Stop all traffic. I have snowballs. Nice. Okay, so now I have to call animal control to pick up the dead body. If it's going to work. Which I guess it's not. That's funny. Um, Alright, I guess there's no animal control. So we will call out code 4, all good. I will remove the speed zone. And we're good to go. And we're ready for our next call out, which is a possible drunk driver. And of course he's way the hell over there. So, we will just try to get there best we can. Oh, he's just driving crazy. Now, if I if it looks like I'm driving crazy, it's because I have been drinking. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's nice. There's another cop right there. And it looks like I lost him. Or someone else got him. Alright, I guess that's fine. I guess another player got him. I wonder what this is about. Okay, he's fine. There's a possibility he was going to yell at me for off-roading like that. In this server, you're really supposed to be as professional as possible. It's a very fun surfer, though. Them army benefits. Oh. 
I'm just guessing that I'm driving in a lane. What is that? Oh. Okay, so bottom left, Officer 6... CR-68 is on scene of a pedestrian struck. So you could actually see what calls other players on the map are doing. Uh, they could also request for backup. So if I see that somebody's requesting for backup, I could attach myself and... I could attach myself to their callouts driver causing problems. That's a different call out. This is backup. So this guy struck by a vehicle. That's 263. So that guy already dealt with his problem. Oh, look at that. Got two vehicles parked in what looks like to be a red car. That's against the rules. Now, one problem with this server is if you don't lock your vehicle, civilians can come up and steal it, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, because who's going to steal a cop car? Yeah, that's definitely a red curb for these two vehicles. So, I am going to disable my callouts, because I'm busy right now. The um, not so 100% legit stuff would be I'm um, searching the vehicle. <clears throat> Which didn't seem to work. Sometimes these are just like kind of like a ghost spawned in vehicle. You can't interact with them, you can't do anything unusual, nothing like that. Or anything normal. So I guess I'll just leave them. I'll go check up this road, the construction site. Oh, we got some partiers over here, parking in the middle of the road. That's interesting. So I'm not going to get anybody for trespass. Oh, there's another car coming in. That's interesting. Yeah, just turn around and leave, buddy. Alright, let's see. Search vehicle. A camera, a drone, and a dash cam. Hey, what's up? Wow! $1,500 of dirty money. Not sure. Uh, ma'am, you can't park your truck there. I'm gonna tow that shit. Okay. So, first, I will... I don't know why I pick up snowballs, but apparently it's something that I really want to do. Tow truck. Oh shit, she's got a gun! It's a girl in a white tank top in the snow, right? Hey, you guys leave. Go home. Get out of here. Oh, but not you. Not you, ma'am. Hey, well, my bad. Yeah. Okay. Sure, just run away. Alright, everybody else, go home. Probably not. Party's over. Over here, you too. It's snowing. Go get indoors. Hey, you too. Go home. Whatever. 
not going to deal with arresting this many people or ticketing this many people for uh, trespassing. Hey, go home. Moron. You're a moron. Tell me what to call me. I know what I am. I'm an officer of the law. <laughs> Where is my tow truck? All right, he's right down the road. Unfortunately, in the server, you can only call one unit at a time. So, say I needed two ambulance, you can only call one. Air ambulance, I haven't had a lot of success with that. So if I need, in this instance, I need three tow trucks, I can only call one at a time. Now I will call the tow truck for that one. We picked up that one. So, here's a cool little thing. I can do dispatch. I can check the license plate. Carry Gooley? So, insurance and registration are good. I could go in here to my police computer. That is not how it was spelled. So I can go to info notifications, carry goalie. Oh, she's got an expired driver's license. Look at that. So she drove up to this party on an expired license. So, expired license, create a citation. And then this is where all the paperwork comes through. If you want to play this way, you can. It's nice to know that it is set up this way. At the top right, it has your date and time. I hear the other tow truck coming up. Violation. Documentations. And it was expired driver's license. $120 fine. So we'll click that. Add it to heat. Ouch. Ah, I goofed it. So that was a $120 fine. Expired driver's license. No, not that one. Updated to Mirror Park, where I'm at. One violation cited and submit. And there we go. So now when she's ready to come pick up her truck from Impound, or the tow yard, wherever it's going, she can pay her ticket to him. And I will turn my call outs back on. Just taking the turn a little quick. 
really does not look nice. Look at that. That looks pretty nice. Well, there's some suspicious activity. Walking around in the snow in a dress. That is kind of suspicious. Bottom left says the uh, rancher was just picked up. So the tow truck finished that call. I usually like Mirror Park because it's pretty much a quiet, quiet area. Then there's, you know, Sandy Shores, Grape Sea, Polito Bay, you know all that stuff. Everybody knows that, that area. Oh! <laughs> All right, what is she doing? All right, so we got reckless driving, destruction of federal property. Now the hard part is catching up to the person, getting close enough to flag their vehicle. There we go. For a pullover. The lights don't signal pullover. All right, so I'll have dispatch check the coupe first. Baldwin Lefkowski? Sup? Okay. Let's see what this guy's gonna do. <clears throat> So I get here, he's suspicious and nervous. Of course he is, he just got pulled over. Driver's license. Um, so I could go back to my vehicle, which I usually do, to run his license, but instead I'll just have dispatch it. Valid license. <clears throat> oh, damn it. See what I'm talking about? Get the hell out of there. Is this really happening? Seriously, that's gotta get fixed. I mean, that guy wasn't even in traffic. Okay, so since the guy was clearly driving recklessly, I am going to have him take a breath laser test. Nothing. Drug swab? Nothing. Okay, so he was just driving crazy. Maybe he lost control of the vehicle. Who knows? Are you kidding me? These guys are always... And I locked the vehicle, too. I locked it. What is that? A Tahoe? Got exclusive driver. Got all that stuff. Let's see, just a second. 
Now, some people, when writing their reports, if they can't memorize the person's name, they will have a notepad on their desk to write down the person's name or the license plate, anything like that. Or Or you could just take a picture of the screen with your phone and you're fine. So this guy lives up in Sandy Shores. That's irrelevant. Um, doesn't have a criminal record. So I will just give him a ticket for reckless driving, unsafe conditions type of thing. Let's see. He wasn't really speeding. I mean, I could really load him up with everything that I've seen. Because, I mean, technically he did cross the double yellow because he was on the left side sidewalk instead of the right lane getting him for failure to maintain a lane. There's a lot of things. I could get them for. But I'm not sure. Uh, signals. There may have been a stop sign there, they may not have. I'm not sure. Not every intersection in, in uh, Mirror Park has a stop sign. Too fast for conditions. We'll just hit him with that because it is snowing out. If he lost control, he wasn't under the influence of anything. So we'll just go with 160. <clears throat> All right, back over to this guy. Only be cited for $160. So, sign here to acknowledge. Oh, rips up the ticket. Alright, well. I was really giving you a break. I mean, destruction of federal property, running over that mailbox. That was kind of a big one. So now you can go ahead and step out. And you are under arrest. And I'll search you. Oh, you got a gun on you. Do you at least have a license for that gun? And you don't. Okay, so illegal possession of a firearm. Grab head, which makes him a cardboard cutout, basically. Cancel. And we'll put him in the left rear seat. Doors are now unlocked. Search his vehicle. He's got another gun in there. Dispatch. Tow truck. So now that I have him under arrest, I have other things to do. I have created an arrest report, more paperwork, I'm not really interested in it. I mean, usually I do, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to. Um, 
I could also drive him to the nearest police station to drop him off. Which I won't do either. Or I can request a prisoner transport. Up to two vehicles at a time. They'll take two arrested people at a time. So I'll just pull over on the curb a little bit more. Turn my lights off. Let traffic drive by. And he's just sitting in there. He had to tear up the ticket and piss me off. You could also tell him something like, you know, refusing to sign is an arrestable offense. You could tell him to sign it or you're going to make it worse, all that type of stuff. So I just decided to arrest him. Hmm. Prison transport never came. So... I will just have them meet me at the gas station. Because I need gas. Yes, in this server you can run out of gas. Those are the good type of servers I like. I think GTA Online would be a little bit better if you had to get gas. Alright. This is probably very against the rules. Fueling up your police vehicle with a suspect in cuffs in the backseat. But I don't care, it's a video game. Car accident down the road. Where is my prison transport? Did it keep canceling? Is it crashed? Again, I'm on server one right now. Use ah uh, here they are. Usually I'm on server two. <laughs> they said two. Well, come get him. So I can see if I can get over to that traffic accident. Alright. Excuse me? Where is it? Oh, it's right here. I don't see an accident. And it's already been cleared up. So that's one thing about this server. You gotta get your calls quick. And they often do, every, I believe every four hours, they do a restart of the servers to basically clear up uh, abandoned vehicles, people who would stop a pedestrian on the streets. Like, I'll give an example of that. So I'll come up to her. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm, so I'm doing a stop and search, which is against the Constitution. Oh, and you have a Glock 19. Do you have a permit for that? You do not. Driver's license. So, technically, she should be under arrest for having a firearm without a permit for it. But I say the Constitution covers that. So I say she's free to go. But to prove my point of why they clean up the servers, I'm not going to give her free to go. So she will just stand there tied to my character on the map saying like, hey, don't forget you have this call over here. And their server reset will delete that character. But I try to make things nice and easy for everybody. 
Has she been drinking? Is she on drugs? Nope, nope, nope. We will have dispatch run her license. Her license is revoked, which is irrelevant because she's not driving, she is walking. Alright, well. I'm gonna say it is your constitutional right to have a firearm and you are free to go. Don't shoot anybody who doesn't deserve it. How weird is that? A random stop and frisk finds a gun. Now, there's also... Oh, yeah. The buddy system. I can spawn in a police officer, a trooper, a deputy, SWAT officer, a medic, or a firefighter. In my experience, they're all pretty much useless. If you're a medic or a firefighter, once shooting starts, they run and cry, run away screaming. Uh, officer or a trooper or a deputy, they usually just start shooting. And I like to take the bad guys into custody instead of outright killing them. So I usually don't use a buddy. You can also equip whatever weapons you want them to have. They also walk very slow. So if I get out of my vehicle, approach a car, they'll get out and follow me. Just, you know, being a good partner. But if the vehicle I have on the stop takes off and I have to run to my truck to pursue, they will take their sweet ass time and practically crawl back to their door. So I don't use buddies. Then the ALPR. Um, it's basically an APB for license points. And I love, I actually like doing the license plate check. So right there, there's two of them that just popped up. There's another one. So invalid, insurance, registration, registration. So all those different things. You got the license plate, you got the, the owner of the vehicle. Unfortunately, I don't know the types of cars all the names of all the cars in the game, so I usually am not great at it. Although that one over there is quite a beauty car. I'm a classic muscle car type of person. So I usually just have my Plate Bolo turned off. Ooh, that one's stolen. There's a Rancher X. That is stolen. License plate 799. So, it'll pretty much be in this area somewhere. Could be that one. Yeah, I ran a stop sign. So I will get my dispatch to run the plate. And that is not it. That is a rancher, but that is not the stolen one. Do I really still have... No. See, when it kind of glitched out and it sent two prison... Prisoner dispatch over on the far right. Prisoner transports. One of them picked up the suspect and left. The other one's like, hey, there's no suspect. And then they just sit there. So that's another thing that the server will fix. will clean up. Wipe clean. 
It keeps the server moving smoothly. So, who knows where that rancher could be. Another thing you could do is just go around and have dispatch run a license check on every single vehicle you see. But I like that little thing called probable cause. You don't just search everybody. That's not how it goes. That's not your uh, your rights. Kind of reckless, but you know, it's slippery. He was changing lanes. I don't like going after everybody for everything. Okay, that one, that one, okay, come on. Oh, and he's fleeing. I was just gonna give him a warning, really. This guy. What? Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Yeah. You just ran me over. I think I'd be dead. This is where I could call for backup on the server, but I usually don't like doing that. Man, he's flying. Again. No, don't hit me, you f ah. Why is my gun not coming out? No way. Oh. Uh, how would that guy come up and hit me? Oh, he is booking it. Where did he go? Boy, it is slippery snow. Wow. Pretty sure that guy's just gonna get away. I don't like shooting from my vehicle and shooting out his tires and all that stuff. I can't imagine a lot of actual police officers do that. Get out. Yeah. 
Where'd he go? Oh wow, he's way down there. Also, always make sure, especially in a pursuit, that you have your seatbelt on. I have been ejected from my car through the windshield. And he turned. So I put a call out for backup on the people on the server, and that's just up to them if they want to or if they can respond. Dang, where is this guy? He's getting there. Don't stop! Pull over! Hundred miles an hour in the snow, that's sure safe. Boy, I've been chasing this guy a while. Not me. Damn it, missed. One problem I have with this server is that it has, uh, it takes off your sights. And that. That's another one. It's like, come on, I'm right there over the person. How is he still getting away? I gotta stay one in brown. So... I just there there's no dot, there's nowhere to see if you're even aiming at your target. It's a little bit ridiculous here.
Yeah, that sucks. The one big complaint about this server. Other than that, I love it. No one responded to back up. My car is about freaking two miles away. But basically, if you tase a suspect, you can't, you have to wait until they're done twitching, spazzing out on the ground before you can cuff them. And then by the time they stand up, then you can cuff them, but then they already start running away. So, yeah, he got away. Nice. Well, that's a good way to end it. Sure. Um, they're going to reset the server in a few minutes, and they usually ask for everybody to log off before then. Cancel that. And all that was that whole chase, that whole pursuit, all of that because the guy took a right on a red while I was going through a green intersection. I was just going to give him a warning to yield to traffic. But it looks like he got away. So that was fun.